Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper Studio today is another city park. It is a beautiful day. The high today is supposed to be 93 and sunny. And all that means is somebody needs to get out on his mountain bike after work today. I am chooching my Savinelli Naked Or Series 3, 315 KS. It is a nine millimeter pipe. And in it, I am smoking the sample that Mr. Kolpecki sent me of a Lancer slices. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. It's delicious. In one of his comments, as we were emailing back and forth, he said, if I know you, you're going to go out and buy a pound of that stuff. Well, I think if we were headed into the winter, I might do that. But June 1, we switch out from Orientals to Virginia and Vapors. So I will be doing probably my top 12, maybe top 10 Orientals that I smoked through spring, which basically was April and May. And then give you guys maybe a look at what, Vir what Virginia's and what vapors I'm gonna be smoking throughout the summer which is my most favorite uh, blends. I'm getting partial to Burley's. So, got the pipes and cigars. I'm not really necessarily a big fan of pipe and cigars because usually they got all this stuff in here and then you go in their website and it's not there. But I thought it would be fun, since I've already gone through it, to show you what I got dog-eared. So, let's see what I got dog-eared. The first dog-eared page is page number 20. And this is what I dog-eared. That is my number one Burley Aromatic. And they got that bad boy for $5.99. So I will be going on and getting probably five tins of that. I have about five, but I've never seen it $5.99. Gotta get you some. And then, Let's see what else we got dog-eared here. I went through this thing yesterday. And I was somewhat selective. I don't need anything. But, uh... I got this page. Page number 60. And honestly... You may say, oh, it's for the Dunhill. Oh, it's for the Peterson. No, it's for this right here. And I was just kind of looking at it. It's a little bit pricey. But I don't have a buffing wheel. And sometimes when I'm cleaning my pipes, when they heat up, the wax kind of gives a little bit of a, a whitish look to it. So I saw this Decatur pipe shine with a rag and I thought hmm maybe that might be trying might be worth trying so I did the next thing was the next page 61 right here burly and black is a very nice lane blend it is burly and black Cavendish. It is not bitey. Um, but I found that I enjoy mixing old dark fire with it. I know, 
it's like I mix old dark fire to anything sweet. But right now I'm brewing in a, in a vacuum bag some of that with old dark fire and I'll be pulling it out. I may let it brew until fall when uh, the burly season's in line. What else we got? Yeah, we got page 67. I have a tin of this I haven't tried yet, and I'll probably crack it open in the next pipe meetup. Richard, my buddy, has got a tin of that, and he's got it open. But I think more than anything, it was for the Bayou Morning. Uh, $9.99 is really not a bad price for it. So I thought, hmm, since vapor season's coming up, it might be good to have a little on hand. So I'll have to check the cellar. I think I may have an 8-ounce tin of that. Well, that was it. I did scope the pipes and cigars. And I kind of blew through it. And uh, I did circle on this one. Page uh, 76. Just because I'm going to be playing in quite a few golf tournaments. And I like these uh, Connecticut wrapper uh, Vegas 5 Golds. Because, um, I, I mean, my favorite is a CAO 660 Flathead Maduro. Something a little bit heavier. But what I like about having those on hand is I can pretty much hand these to anybody I'm playing with. And they're not going to get all looped out on me. So I may want to have some of those in the bag, as they say. And I think that's all I did on that catalog. So I want to say once again to uh, Matt, Mr. Kopecki, thank you for all the samples. I'm enjoying them. And I have to say, I can't wait till Oriental smoking Orientals is out the door. If you guys have seen some of the Yabos uh, that have gone on where I've, I've had jars that I've sent out, a lot of those are uh, some Orientals. I've got one that... Uh, is coming out should be delivered a couple days and I'm just taking some of the Orientals I had about 38 Oriental blends and during the process of smoking Orientals I just my goal is is to get those Orientals down to what I want to smoke uh, next year in the spring and I'll just put those in a clear jar or a clear uh, storage box and put it in the cellar till next spring I will say this though even though it's uh, going to be harder and harder to find um, Durbar is in the top 5 for sure alright well it's lunch time and I just wanted to chat at you going to start getting hot in the backstage so I can start I need to start thinking about what I'm going to do I've already moved my deep cellar into the house I don't know thought about getting one of the window refrigeration units and installing it which is something that uh, is viable to do I don't know, we'll see. I got a fan above me with a light. I'm really only there in the evenings and I've got the garage I can open and then the side doors right behind me so I get some wind movement. And it's really fairly pleasant in El Paso in the evening. So, oh, we'll just see how long we can go. What do I have coming in? I picked up a pipe on eBay yesterday it's a short pipe somebody gnawed the crud out of the 
the end of it. So I'll be sending it off to uh, Briar Works when I get it, along with about six other pipes. I need stems for some of these older ones that I was refurbishing. I'm just a flipping bull in a china closet, and I broke a bunch of stems trying to get see if I could get stingers out and whatnot. I think there was a custom built in there that uh, stumble that didn't have any stem, so I just need to get that stuff out and to Rick and, and get the stuff fixed. So probably I'll give them all away. I don't. There's nothing in there that overly tickles my fancy. But anyways, the one I got on eBay has a silver band. Um, it's some German name on it. They're saying it's a fairly rare pipe. I didn't buy it. I bought it for the shape. So I did pick up a uh, tobacco pipe sent me out that the Molina Devil Anses are back in stock. So I picked up three of those and I have already moved them. So when they come in, they'll be going back out except for one I'll be keeping one I picked up uh, some lane tobaccos some black raspberry what I wonder who that's for and then uh, I don't even remember what the other two blends were um, they were probably from the aromatic side just with this nine mils now, I can enjoy some aromatics. I'm not going nuts with it. I haven't gone out and bought a bunch of aromatics, but uh, yeah. Let me say this to some new pipe smokers. It's something that, I mean, I've been now smoking a pipe over a year and a couple of weeks. One of the things I picked up was Chatham Manor. Comes in a big white tub. And it is a burly blend, and it's a fairly bland burly, but it's a little nutty, cocoa-y. If you're new in pipe smoking, it is. it, it looks like it might be a little expensive, but it, it, that tub, I still am using that tub after a year, and it has been my go-to burly that I blend with when I want to make some other type of tobacco. Grab you a tin of that if you do any blending. It's just a really good burly. It's got good flavor. So, um, I don't know, just some things I thought about. All right, I think I'll light this pipe up, finish lunch, maybe try another sample. Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper, saying sweet chicken, baby. You all be safe out there.